It's time to raise my son. Oh my god! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh beans! Oh beans, 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 beans! Frank and beans! Yes! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Flaster and you're watching Artemis and Apollo Gaming. We are playing through Death Stranding right now and I have taken a little break. I started playing this over Christmas and it's well into January now as the time of filming this. And I, I gotta be honest, I've, I'm have i kind of about to lose my steam with this game. Um, it's just, uh, it's been a little bit of a grind and I don't know that I'm, I care enough about the characters to continue on, but I have heard from fans that, fans of the game, that it does get better and it, it picks up soon. So I'm gonna give it a, probably about, probably about 10 more hours. And if it's not exciting and fun for me by then, then I think we're gonna have to stop this. But uh, I, I'm excited to see where this is going to go, and I hope that we unearth what the heck is going on with Amelie, aka Samantha, and let's jump into some more Death Stranding. Real quick before we get started, I got to show you the, the subject, Happy Birthday, Sam. I did do the uh, Death Stranding birthday Easter egg hunt. Um, I recently had my birthday and um, decided to play just a teeny bit of the game on my birthday to see if I could unlock anything, and I did. So I will be putting that video in the playlist um, right after this one. It's very short, but very cool. So if you guys wanna see that, you can see what happens on your birthday in the game. Oh, there seems to be something over there. <sighs> Bring Port Knot City into th onto the chiral network. Happy birthday, Sam. I wanted to get in touch and thank you for all your hard work. Come rain or shine, you're the man who always delivers. I don't know where we'd be without your help. You're always putting other people first, breaking your back so you don't let them down, but here's your special day. Kick back and have a few likes on us. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, you can see it's dated on my birthday, 122. <clears throat> I guess I missed that on the time that I checked. All right. You can use the music player to play any music you've acquired. Okay. These are good artists. I guess I can only listen to music when I'm in the room. Something I've been feeling and well known, but we never used to be. 
Either we're arguing or you leave. We both know something's missing. I've been holding on, holding on to nothing. Note to self get the soundtrack for Death Stranding. Oh, we're still on episode two, Amelie. Dang. I thought the last video was long. All right. Order number seven, retrieve the chiral printer interface from the Neil Post box. All right, so how... Have a pleasant journey. Be cool if I could use that little motorcycle or whatever that is. There you go. Share lights, I guess. I suppose I gotta go get those chiral crystals, which mm. seem fairly simple. Yeah. Weapons restrictions lifted. Reverse trike. Portable chiral constructor allows you to build various. He started talking back like, hey, oh, geez. Sam, the chiro crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Cycle the crystals at the center west of Capital Not City. Oh, back to George. Good old George. Um, oh, that's pretty. I feel like that's pretty far. Well, then I guess it's there. Never mind. Doesn't that say way station west? Distribution center west. Oh, oh. Almost there. Oh, it's right here. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. <laughs> Verifying ID. Sam, so the pyro crystal deliveries are a little different from usual. The process is pretty simple, though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any chiral like crystals you're carrying. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Okay, I guess I did it. <laughs> wow, I'm stupid. I don't I don't know why that took me so long. Lord. Oh! Got some chiral crystals for us? You know it. 
These crystals only form in places with elevated Tyrellian levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Not a bad haul. Plenty enough for research. We'll take good care of it. I got an A and one S for super. Guess that's what you get for being basic. <laughs> I barely understand what's happening. Okay. Oh, prominent porter. I can carry more cargo. Yay. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Cool. Gonna offload it. between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. That makes sense. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources, too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Hmm. Well, all right then. Now off to our... Look at all these little footprints! <laughs> Destroyed metals. I guess that's it. So I'm just going to place a marker there. And then do... Uh, let's go get my butt kicked by some mules. <laughs> the word chiral comes from the Greek word kir, meaning hand. Compare your left with your right. They seem similar in both size and shape, yes? Now face your palms away from you and place one hand over the other. Their shapes do not overlap exactly, but place your palms together and voila, a match. It is as if one hand is the mirror image of the other. But again, if you were to actually compare the mirror image of your hand to itself, it would see that the two are not identical. This is the essence of chirality, the state in which the mirror image of a shape does not match the original. Okay. It has been theorized that BTs are mirror images of ourselves. We were to exist in the same point in time and space, our shapes, as it were, 
would not overlap neatly onto each other save in reflection. And when our particles meet their opposites, a void out occurs. A new form of communication we have devised utilizes beaches, which are akin to mirrors reflecting this world and the other, hence the term chiral network. Oh, okay. Chirillium. Would you like to know more about Chirillium? Well, wouldn't we all? I'm happy to present the latest theories, but you must be aware that this is all that they are. Theories. Well, Hartman, yeah, I'm going to need you to be a little bit more helpful than that. Chirillium, like dark matter, was born along with our universe and has existed ever since. Not just in a dimension we were able to perceive. Oh, just not in a dimension we were able to perceive. Until now. It is the beach that gives us access to that dimension and with it knowledge of Chirillium's existence. Not just knowledge of it, of course. We have since observed coalescing into crystalline form and recorded measurable physical and mental effects of, on individuals exposed to it. It has reshaped our understanding of reality and proven instrumental in the formulation of the multiverse theory of beaches. <laughs> okay. Chiral matter is not affected by the passage of time. As far as these particles are concerned, none has escaped, none has elapsed since the Big Bang. Little wonder they escaped from our notice so long until man and BT first came together in, a, in void out and left nothing but Chirelium in their wake. Many of these claims are yet to be verified, but I believe that it is a fair summary of the scientific community's current consensus on the matter. No pun intended. I shall soon be heading west with the first expedition, and I look forward to learning about Chirelium and its connections to the beach along the way. Oh, so maybe he died. Hmm. I hope that that is on. Okay, I hope I'm doing this right. Let's see how I crouch. Oh, I can punch. Uh. See how to crouch, though. Oh, I guess circle. Okay, we're doing it. Attack a mule repeatedly to knock them unconscious. Oh. Right, cool. Well, I guess I'm not to run into them then. Oh, cool. Alright, hey baby. Hey little dude. Okay. 
again. Right, I'm just gonna pass this little river here. Maybe. L2 to, to prepare the stream. Oh, cool. I can try that. I'm definitely not going as the bird flies. Sandalweed leaves can serve as temporary footwear in an emergency. like the enemy's cave to me. sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Sneak attack one.
It's okay, buddy. I can wait. Assassin's Creed. <sighs> okay. What does that mean? <laughs> Moving ladder, all right. Seems relatively far away. All right, let's see if I can get to the next little patch of grass. Nice, okay, there's a little camp there. Tense right now.
I'm gonna take their boots. Wait, 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 wait. need to take their boots. Ooh. Should I take their footwear? I'm just going to attach it to my suit. There we go. All right. I'm going to try to get the fuck out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Cancel. Oh, all of them? Okay, good. I'm so nervous. dangerous because if the beaches come from those bodies won't it cause a void out? Can I just deliver this to a post box? Is that the thing? Yeah. Back on me? I hope so. Guess not, whatever. Hopefully I can put everything in here, right? Keep hold of any cargo that can't be returned here. What?
Tense. Someone's always on the lookout and I shouldn't be here. Thanks, Patch. Well, I guess I won't make the mistake of dismantling the dang ladder again. I wish I had successfully knocked that guy out, but it's cool. Alrighty! Whew, that was a tense mission. Whew. Okay, let's make this delivery. Chiral 
printer in working order. Yeah. Sorry if I get through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Oh, validation feels nice sometimes. <laughs> Definitely not the most direct route, but I am encouraged to see that other people also struggled with that route. <laughs> hey, I got an awesome. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Sweet. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Okay. Necrosis and the ancient Egyptian, ancient Egyptian view of life and death. I'm a skilled handler. All right. See you around. See you around. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Cairo printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the Cairo network might, in essence, be a time machine. That's it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the beach is linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I was just in there. To the wind farm! Jake wind. <laughs> okay. Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo network. But to make the most of it, we'll need to generate more power. We'll have to make a few hops before we can link up the closest city to... Once this wind farm is part of the Cairo network, we'll be able to route the energy it generates through the beach. Unlike traditional transmission methods, nothing is lost. We can provide power to distant regions and utilize facilities there as electrical substations. You're to deliver a key component. Should be finished printing. Take it to the wind farm and get us in business. Okay. Deliver the power supply unit. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation. 
after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Take a stroll across the Give it a try. Seems like they want me to build things, but I don't really want to build things. <laughs> I just want the story to continue. Alright, container repair, container repair, repair, container repair spray. Hello. Boots, need. Power supply unit, have to take. Climbing acre. I'm all trying to make it lightweight as possible, and I know that he just gets loaded with stuff. But I am going to have him do a quick rest first because we're here. And maybe we'll learn more. Use a pillow! His neck hurts. It hurts my neck to look at his neck. Good morning. I wonder Sam. why the handcuff always comes off. Yeah, let's check on baby. How's baby doing? Hey, little dude. Doing okay, buddy? Okay. All right, uh, I guess I'll take a shower. I feel like this is when the other characters always interrupt him. EX grenade number zero. EX grenade. Huh? Alright. Hey, so, uh, I'm just sitting here weeks later editing the episode of Death Stranding and I don't know where the rest of the footage went. I've looked for it. Apparently it just stopped there. Um, so sorry about that abrupt ending. Uh, I do have two more videos coming out that I've already shot uh, and I was just going to put a title card at the end of this but I feel the need to explain myself. I am still on the struggle bus with this game. I really want the story to continue, but uh, taking weeks off at a time and relearning the controls and then trying to get back into the story is really tough. And I feel like I'm just doing that to myself, but um, I am just trying to wrap up this story as quickly as possible so I can get onto other games. Uh, I wanted to commit to playing this game all the way through. I still kind of feel like nothing's happening and I am still very much interested in this game, but when I sit down to edit this, I feel like I don't even know where to start because I, I feel like I'm just wandering around and spending all of my time trying to figure out the menu screen, and I don't feel like it's very interesting for you to watch. So even though I do kind of enjoy the game and I think the graphics are gorgeous, I think I'm gonna to try to wrap this up now. I have a few more episodes that I need to edit and put out. I'm gonna to try to just pack all of the highlights of those videos into one or two videos. Um, and I apologize because I, I, I'm I not able to keep trudging through this game because I have The Last of Us that I want to play through. Um, I have some Bioshock Infinite that I'm going to upload for you guys. And um, 
Obviously, I want to play the sequel of The Last of Us and Cyberpunk and Final Fantasy VII remake coming out. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming out that like I can't keep playing Death Stranding for. At least I feel my own pressure on that way. So um, I apologize if you were looking forward to more Death Stranding uploads. I am going to have a few more to wrap it up, but I can't commit to playing all of this game anymore because I feel like nothing is happening and I don't even know how to edit it to make it interesting uh yeah so thanks for being here and i'll see you on the next video <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching please uh subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already and come and visit us on twitch we stream every week and i can talk to you guys live there which is really cool um we are playing through a bunch of different games right now. I'm playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I will be playing a story-based game uh, very soon after that. I needed a little palate cleanser after Death Stranding. Anyway, um, thanks for being here, and I'll see you later.